Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. This week, as the name suggests, we're finally getting ourselves a staircase. So we've been living here for about a month, mainly upstairs, as you can probably tell, and uh, using the ladder as access. So this was a big day, actual proper staircase in the place, for the first time in its entire life. So we got some help this week in, in the shape of uh, Claire's dad. He's on the on the case and giving us a hand. And this was pretty much new to everybody. So staircase was ordered online. Measurements obviously taken very, very carefully. Uh, finished floor heights and leveling out and measuring and re-measuring and laser leveling and then all punched into a online website and then what turns up a couple of months later was a kit of parts so we have uh, I think 13 steps in total the part so this part that we're putting together at the moment is the winders and the slightly more complicated bit the straight run of stairs that will go up, as it were, from looking at me at the moment to the left, is already put together. But this part is the, is the winders or the kite steps and the support for that. So it's pretty much freestanding, works on the three by three legs that you can see there. Combination of softwoods, We've got all sorts of glass and oak bits that em embellish the structure that is, but uh, that's not for this episode. You'll see that when we get a bit further on and it's less building site -y. At the moment it, we're putting together the, the structure that is, which is mainly MDF and softwood. The stairs are going to be carpeted, so it's another reason why we've gone for the one we have. If we were looking for something snazzy and all oak and everything else, it might be a bit different but we're going to have carpet up the stairs. The flooring in the main area is going to be oak, so it might have been a bit of an oak overdose if there was too much. So we're trying to break it up and mix, mix the different sort of fabrics and surfaces. But this is new to all of us and a new experience for all. Comes with no instructions, um, <laughs> which obviously makes life that bit more difficult. So it is. A, there's a lot, of, lot of trial and error has occurred here. A lot of seeing what we can and can't do, and where bits fit, and dry fitting, and then refitting. So at this point we've got a, a few of the bits glued and stuck together and that main pole to my left, Claire's right, is the one that seems to be key and fundamental and holds all the different bits together. So a combination of clamps and everything else, we're trying to get it into the right place. And then of course because things aren't working out correctly and the measurements aren't right or we can't get another piece in because it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. A rejig and a reorganise is, uh, is the order of the day. And we work on the fact it'd be easier with it lying down. Because everything was balanced and hanging and At least this way, gravity is doing some of the work for us, or well, that was the idea. And then as you can tell, there was a lot of trying and retrying, jiggling about, reorganising. 
and then taking it all back apart again and starting afresh with a new idea. And of course a bit of fettling and knocking the edge off of this because then it'll slide in. And I'm sure there's those of you out there looking at us thinking, what the hell are you lot doing? You don't want to be doing it like that. But somehow, in the end, we actually managed to get all the bits to fit. In the end. And then came the top point at which we had to actually stand it up. So it looked like a staircase again. Which sort of went surprisingly well. I think. The clamp fell off. He says. <laughs> so rearranging and measuring. Making sure it's vertical, upright. The right distance and all the bits are in the right place. But we've got the sort of three or four steps and all the posts and everything in the right place and glued up with the blocks. To stop it falling apart again. Amazingly. And that was that. Moving on to the next bit. We all stood around for a bit, checked it was nice and stable, admiring what we've been up to, and then cracked on. So with having no instructions and uh, not being entirely sure what we were doing, putting these pieces in seemed like a great idea at the time. But like a lot of things, uh, this got removed a bit later on once we uh, started doing the next piece and doing the run up because it just literally got in the way. Thankfully we'd only dry fitted it together so it wasn't too much of a trauma. But it did make sure it was nice and square. And then came time to move it. Which went surprisingly well. The glue had obviously started setting and uh, everything held together quite nicely. Once that was done, time to remove some block work. So we're fully aware when we're putting the staircase together and planning it all out initially that the stairs will go through this wall. Um, initially on the plans we had uh, the wall further away so that it didn't interfere but it meant that the room was slightly smaller and the, no more space was particularly needed in the entrance hallway. So we sort of worked on the fact that if we moved it I think we got, gained an extra sort of 500 mil as far as the uh, bedroom was concerned by having the staircase poking through the sort of top corner of it. It took quite a bit of measuring and uh, trying to get the run of the staircase in the right place. And obviously very nerve wracking removing block work in the middle of everything else. But as you can see on that right hand side what we we're trying to avoid was the lintel of the door. At this point it's all very tight and all very close.
So there was a certain element of trial and error and nibbling away and taking a bit more and then measuring again. Once that was done, a piece of flooring had to come out. This is easier said than done because of course it had been plastered down too. So we couldn't just unscrew it and lift it out or even slide it out. So the circular saw had to take take the edge off so we could then lift the uh, floorboard out of the way. So with the last double check, everything was going to work out correctly. The runner stairs could go in. This, unfortunately, we didn't manage to film because uh, what one thing and another and trying to manoeuvre it into place, nobody noticed that it was uh, no longer recording because it had gone flat. But there we have it. The stairs run, went in. They go in as one big piece. We didn't put them together. They came ready made. But thankfully they went in and they fitted. They sort of slid through. We had to take a little bit off the end of the uh, floor joists to make them fit. But they went in well. The next issue we had to solve was the fact that the opening in the stairwell wasn't quite wide enough for the two posts to fit in. These are the two new posts that go at the top of the stairs and I think it was about five mil too narrow. So in the whole grand scheme of things taking two and a half mil off of each one wasn't too much of a trauma and meant that things like the handrails still fitted in nicely and the caps on top and all the rest of it that was all good. So the sort of oak embellishments that were required as well. So the thickness planer was cracked out and we ran, in, ran them both through a few times on the one face just to take off the uh, excess material. Thankfully, with that done, they fitted in lovely. And as you can see, run straight up and into and onto the landing. You can see what I mean, though, about how tight it is at the top there. They're literally sandwiched up against the wall. And with those up and in place, we found near the staircase. And we could go up to the upstairs without using the ladder. This is a good day.
And then the next day, I was left on my own, just to put the last few bits in. So this was the bottom couple of steps that we'd removed when we were finally fettling it into place. So as you've probably realised from watching, there's no screws in it at all. Works on the fact of nicely fitting jointed timber work and then these round dowels that are hammered into the holes. And then just lashings of glue to hold it into place. There's wooden blocks that fit under each of the, the stairs that stop them squeaking as you're walking up the stairs. So with the other post in place and a couple of well placed clamps to hold it as the glue starts to set. Final check of all the measurements, make sure it's nice and square. We can get the bottom step in. So this one stays exposed and so it's been veneered with oak. So as the last few rises go into place, that's it for this section of the staircase. Once we start getting floors down and plaster work done, the oak handrails and the glass work are going to place and we'll finish it off. But I thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.